So we just finished sewing the back rise and the front rise with the half inch seam allowance. Now we're going to go ahead and sew our inseam. So we were sewing like this. This is the right side of the fabric. We were sewing the rise and the rise. Then we take the pockets, pull those side seams out, flip this upside down, and we just need to deal with that inseam. We're so close. So line up the two crotch seams or inseams. <laughs> Put a pin. Put the seam allowance to one side. Go ahead and light up the hem. And if you have a longer leg, still pin at the hem and then divide and put pins in between at the knee, etc. And divide up that space. I have a short inseam, so I'm just going to use a couple of pins. There's our hem. Divide up that space. Now we're going to be sewing our inseam with half inch seam allowance. Needle down, start with the back stitch, follow the angle so right there is where the notch is and we're going to move that and follow the inseam, it has a sharp angle. Always trying to line up those outer edges together, those raw edges. Make sure I'm not catching any pleats or tucks. Continue with our half inch seam allowance. Coming right to where the hem is. Needle down and pivot to go next to that angle. Coming down towards the hem with the back stitch. And we've sewn the inseam. That's the end of step number four. I always sew the front and back rise and then the inseam. Always on a pant.